Hello and welcome to the Morgan's Comics Monthly Update! Now before we get into the calendar of events, we wanted everyone to know that if you haven't heard this before, Morgan's Comics is a safe place for us all. We do free or low cost events regularly and they are designed for one with in mind that you might want to take your kids or some of our folks are in recovery or you just don't want to be around that kind of silliness. So unless our events listed as 21 plus, it is intoxication free and all inclusive. So first up we have free comic book day. So free comic book day is coming up on the 4th. So that's going to be this coming Saturday. And we're going to be here from 11 to 10. So come on out and get yourself some free comic book days. We've made all kinds of sets of different issues. So if you want to come and grab a whole complete set of a story, we've got tons of them in stock and ready to go price to, to move out the door on Saturday. After that, we've got a ton of free comic books, of course, thousands of them. Every title you can think of for free comic book day, Morgan's Comics is Gatcha. After that, we've got a fresh restock of locally made jewelry. So we've got some beautiful artists who make some fantastic art in here all around the shop so come on in and check out what they've created most recently after that we've got a bizarre and just interesting variety of candies and sodas and donuts so come on out and grab yourself some snacks aside from the in-shop games and our raffle as usual after that we're gonna have now that's this saturday that's saturday the fourth from 11 to 10. The next event is our next gothy dance party. So our goth nerd dance parties have been so fun. So this one is 21 and up. So if you would like to come on out and dance with us, we're going to black out the windows with drinks and snacks and dance until our little black hearts are tired, tuckered out. So come out on the 12th starting at 8 p.m and dance with all of us in the Nerd Sanctuary. After that is WNC Comic Con. That's gonna be Saturday, and that's May the 18th from 10 to 5. It's gonna be at the Ag Center. You can look up their website and catch all the details that they've posted for their event. And don't forget to swing by our table and grab yourself a free sticker if you mention this post. After that is Mr. Rogers Day. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Rogers is my favorite role model. Years ago, a kid told me I was like a Wonder Woman Mr. Rogers, and I thought that was like the sweetest compliment anyone could ever give me. So I went out and got that as the only tattoo that I've ever gotten. So that's gonna happen on Saturday, May 25th. We're gonna do that from 11 to 10. So if you love Mr. Rogers too, Come on out, we're gonna have free gifts, some wholesome family games. We're gonna have all age appropriate reading material restocked. And of course, our Daniel Tiger balloons. So, don't miss out on any of these events coming right up. Blood Hunt number one, the bloodiest Marvel event ever. The skies have gone dark the sun hiding its face from the carnage to come. The children of the night, the vampires, have risen from the dark and hidden places of the world as one to drown the Marvel Universe in blood. Earth's final night has fallen. Can even the heroes of this doomed world stem the tide of blood that is to come? Join the Avengers, Blade, Bloodline, Spider-Man, Hunter's Moon, Tigra, Doctor Strange, and Clea as the dance of death begins in Blood Hunt number one. In the fantastical world of Black Sand, peace was hard won, and three unbending warriors carry the scars to prove it. Now, almost 20 years later, their children are missing and war is on the horizon. Can they put aside their memories of the war and each other for one last adventure? White trees, one shot. Deadpool Wolverine World War III number one. 
Wade Wilson and Logan at the ends of the earth and each other's throats. The most intensely mismatched team up in comics and pulp culture. The best there is and the Merc with the Mouth undergo a radical change as we kick off a three part globe spanning saga for the ages. As he sets his sight on Deadpool and Wolverine is caught up in the plot, is the third time really the charm or the curse? Get ready for World War III to erupt. Lester, the LARPing bastard son of the Odin, wanders the post-apocalyptic wasteland after thwarting Satan's attempt to bring about the end of days. But can this hero of the downtrodden survive the battle arena of Will Fry, the Technomancer guy? with an alternate special edition cover by Eric Powell. Lester of Lesser Gods, number one. Bears, pirates, vikings, and queens all battling for their claim to determine what the world will become. It's a gorgeous story of the blood spilled to make countries. And what's cooler than bears, pirates, vikings, and queens? Bear, pirate, viking, queen, number one. Space goes number one. Greed and corruption flourish in the darkness between stars. With the territories of the Galactic Federation spread far and wide across the vastness of space, pirates and hijackers ransack the distant colonies with cruel disregard for the innocent scientists living within them. Yet there is a cosmic vigilante who meets out justice throughout the galaxy, bringing vengeance to those who prey upon the defenseless. Some say he's a policeman who has abandoned the stricture of law. Others say he's a phantom, the sole survivor of a war-torn planet. And those who have survived his wrath claim he is more of a force of nature, able to bend the very elements of creation to decimate his enemies. They call him the Space Ghost, and his adventures begin here. Thank you, Thank you for, for watching the Morgan's Comics Monthly Update! Come on, come on, come on.